Hey everybody, this is Stephanie. I'm jumping in to share another crafty haul. I took advantage of another Echo Park warehouse sale, and this is where they offer so many 12x12 um, collection kits at a fraction of the price. And if you buy so many, you get an additional price taken off. And if you buy so many, <laughs> have like $50 or more, you get free shipping. So this is where I like to shine, <laughs> taking advantage of the sales. So I could not resist. I am currently on a little uh, program, a little goal of digging into my stash and digging into my collection kits because I keep taking advantage of the Echo Park warehouse sale. So I have quite a bit of my of uh, these collection kits. So I've been trying to dig into them each month. So I think it's okay if I do still take advantage of these sales and buy more because I mean, you don't ever want to run out of your stash, right? <laughs> Let me organize this and we'll dig into them. Alrighty, here we go. So the first collection that I'm going to be sharing with, it's Easter time. This is a 2023 collection. I only have one paper pad in my stash at Easter. I had another collection, but I gave it to a friend because she's born in Easter. She loves Easter things and I wanted um, her to start scrapbooking. <laughs> and she loved the idea and I was happy to get for that collection. So um, I don't believe it's just, this is, this, it's not the same collection, but I saw this one. I love the little Easter bunny in there, the chocolate Easter bunny, the little chicks. Everything is just so stinking cute. So I'm gonna be using this um, here for the month of June. So um, anywho, this is gonna be a collection that I'm working with with some um, the uh, Easter pictures from this year that I already have printed out. My older son found the golden egg and I had one paper pad, a six by six of Easter, but that already got packed and I had my husband bring the boxes back in, <laughs> but I'm, I'm still having to try and find it. So worst case scenario, I am totally gonna dig into this, which is kind of intimidating. Do you guys like rush to dig into your stash? I mean, with your new items or do you tend to hoard it and then like first feel like you have to use your older stuff? I don't know, I'm doing a bit of a mix now so I will bring something old in and then I'm, I feel a little more like, okay, well, it's not so new because there's some old things in there. But um, yeah, I have a spring collection as well that I could probably pair in there, but that's also new. So I just feel a little, I get a little intimidated to break in because I don't have double sheets of everything. I wish I could take advantage of this warehouse sale from Echo Park and just buy double of everything but i feel like that's crazy i'm gonna get overwhelmed and yeah but it does it is a great deal so for all the cut aparts i kind of want to do by start buying double so that way um i don't feel too pressured between the b side and then the cut apart side the next collection is our baby girl i love the color scheme regarding the girl and the boy and they even had a neutral one and i would have bought that if it was available but it was sold out i was waiting for this to go on the sale and i'm so bummed that i missed out on the um, third collection but there are still collections that i want for them to go on sale so i'm going to still be looking out and continuing to add to my stash it is a beautiful collection. I did get the uh, ephemera pack and the, um, did I get the accents for these? The chipboard accents. The chipboard accents were actually like a dollar. I think they were originally three hundred nine or 4 nine. So it was a great deal for some of the stuff. But again, I was just trying to make sure I didn't cap out on my personal budget. Let's try not to overspend. I totally could. You guys, when there's a deal upon a deal upon a deal, I'm like, oh, you know, just take my money. <laughs> um, I, I did mention that I am pregnant right now. We are having a girl. So you're going to be seeing quite a few girl collections here because I digged into my stash before I started packing to see how many collections that I have that were girl themed. And I had one, you guys one so that had to change because we're having our first girl i have three boys already so of course i can never have enough boy collections because i have three boys so i'm always gonna i'm always gonna buy those so but um yeah i just i can't believe it my husband cannot believe it so um <laughs> we're having a girl this one is called welcome baby girl the pink oh my gosh you guys I don't I usually normally go with like the blues and the greens and the you know especially mainly when you know documenting documenting my boys so this is a new chapter I'm so excited um and nervous just because I mean I, I thought it was a boy to be honest and um there I, I it didn't matter to me I was just expecting a boy accepting it I guess I was like, its theme is going to be dinosaurs. You know, we always have boys. <laughs> so this is just, it's, 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 
we're opening that chapter, you guys. That is a beautiful collection that was 2021, and I am still going for boy theme layouts because I can never have enough, and this would have been on my list. And then originally, the uh, Dream Big Little Girl was also on my list, but I don't know why I put it back. I think it wasn't a fave compared to the other collections. That's the only thing I can think of why I put it back. Um, I may end up getting the Dream Big Little Girl in the next round of the Warhouse sale, if it's available, of course. So, um, yeah, I love the little tent right here. Planes, trucks, and toys are something cute. Quite, sorry, like little boys. I just, I am documenting on numerous albums regarding the three boys, so I can never go wrong with um, having another collection to pull from. Another baby girl collection, it says, hello, baby, it's a girl. You guys, this is so crazy for me. I'm so excited. Um, I do want another sonogram just to confirm that she really is a girl because <laughs> I just don't believe it. Um, it's so adorable. Look at all that. I don't even know where to begin. Um, it's, this is different. I'm not going to do her album until she's here just because I want to get a feel. I don't know which collection I'm going to use, but I want to have it there and available for when creativity strikes, which I know it's not going to be when right when she's born. I'm going to be like, yeah, preoccupied for a bit, <laughs> but I wanted to have them in my stash. Another collection for summer, it's called Summer Market by Jen Allison Cardabella, and the year is, what year is this? 2020. I love the, the lemons in this, I love the black and white, this plaid, I just love the solids, and I love the busier patterns, and I love the mix between the two, I think this is one of my favorite um, summer collections, I think, it just has the nice bright colors I love the fruits that's definitely what I see for the summer and I just I can't wait to make a layout out of this so I um in a previous video I uploaded regarding my um May layouts that I completed and what I have on my desk for June July and August I'm packing everything else up including some of the most of these items um, and I'm just leaving out what I'm um, going to be working with for the next few months. So that way everything's packed and we're good to go. On that note, I do have a collection or two of summer that I would like to place on the side. Since I didn't place any summer collections, I'm not really a summer person. I don't like the heat. <laughs> I feel like you can only get cool like so far. I can warm up when it's cold by, you know, adding more layers, but no, man, that summer heat is killer, you guys. And so, yeah, I think this will be one of the collections that I may leave out for the summer uh, layouts that I may want to document. Um, I just really like it, but we'll see because it is a newer collection. Another collection, The Best Summer Ever by Jen Allison. This is a 2019 collection. Some of these collections, the only downfall to getting this, um, taking advantage of this warehouse sale is that there are no um, ephemera packs or um, like you can get the extra, the add-ons and stuff. Some of the ephemera packs, the chipboards and things like that. So I just have the kit to work with, which is not a total um, loss, it's still something to gain within my stash, but something that I also accept too, depending on the collection, I can totally be fine with this one as well. I love the vibrancy of the colors, the stickers are adorable, I can see documenting skating land, we went I think last summer, I'm not going this summer, um, my husband and I love food trucks, um, ice creams are, yes, iconic, as well as the swimsuits. I do have to go shopping for our swimsuits since I'm, I currently don't fit in mine. So there's that thing I can document. I don't know. I feel like, <sighs> I don't feel what I used, I don't look as good right now, but I'm embracing all forms of my pregnancy. Another collection I can remember that's buying is my um, Disney-themed inspired. This is Wish Upon a Star by Echo Park 2018. And they had other collections regarding that were um, Disney-themed, but I decided on just one collection. And here we go. I love the general color scheme that it always offers. And I just, oh, I love all these big pieces here. It is adorable. Look at that. I cannot wait to like use these like your own flair. That'd be kind of cool. Like I can see these as cut aparts. This is a great one. These also look like they'd be kind of good for like 4th of July. 
So I can maybe try and use a couple of them for 4th of July. You see, you know, like, I can see that. Adorable. Love it. And the last collection that I got is all about a girl. My husband really loved this collection. He loves adding in the purple. This is not for, like, a baby, but it's as she gets older. So, and yeah, it's very cutesy. It's definitely not what I'm used to, so it's going to be a nice change, though. I'm so excited. Yeah. Now, I totally kind of did this backwards, so forgive me. I should have been sharing the ephemera packs that I got for each of the collections, but I'm like a scatterbrain lately. Everybody's been saying I have pregnancy brain, so I guess that is a thing. I have no idea. So for the first collection, which was It's Easter Time, I got the chipboard phrases and, and the accents. Uh, or they were originally $3.99 or $4.99. I got them for a dollar. I initially thought, oh my god, I got two of these. Why did I do that? But they're different. <laughs> I love that idea of like Easter Bunny. That could be a title. These are so adorable though. And I did realize I'm going to start buying these when they're on sale with um, their collections. Just because when I was making a couple layouts in May and I only had the sticker sheet of the die cuts. Um, it didn't have that dimension that I was looking for when I stayed within the collection. So this is going to be a nice little um, dimension to add to the layouts. The next uh, chipboard accent that I got was from Our Baby Girl. And uh, yeah, it's so adorable, you guys. Oh, I need to get her her first teddy, her first teddy bear. I did that for all my boys and she will get one too. Um, the chipboard phrases for the baby boy. Now, why did I only get the phrases? The only thing I can think of is because it's sold out. There's some things that I couldn't get. And I just accepted and got what I could. From the Dream Big um, Dream Big Little Boy collection, I did get both the chipboard accents and the phrases. So yeah, nice, 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 nice. Let me move these aside. For the Easter time collection, I did get to get the um, ephemera and the frames and tags. For the um, Our Baby Boy, I got the ephemera pack and the tags and frames. It's so adorable. I love the color combination. Comment down below. Let me know if you take advantage of the warehouse sale. Or if you're on a spending freeze, then what is on your desk? Are you attacking your stash? I am personally attacking my collection kits because I keep bringing more in and I purchased quite a bit last year. So my main thing was initially just to like do a spending freeze and to hit, you know, my stash, but I couldn't resist you guys. There's just a great deal, such a great deal. And that's how I shop. Uh, frames and tags for the It's All About a Girl and the ephemera packs so comment down below let me know if you're digging into your stash and what is your main goal of this year it could be six by six paper pads it can be you're working through your punches since you stopped using them metal dies honestly i love the idea i'm even bringing in um working with sketches now so that's something new normally i just whatever comes to me but as I realized that there's some things that I want to have consistency on, like their school albums. So I want it for every year to kind of have the same uh, detailed or the same scenario. I've realized that um, sketches are, are the way to go. So comment down below and let me know what you're working through. This is the baby ephemera. I don't think they had the frames or I did not like them, but I have a feeling they didn't have them. Um, then we have the ephemera for the Wish Upon a Star. And here we go. I'm going to add this into my Universal and Disney stash. And I'm so excited because I told myself to attack that for the month of June and July or August. I'm thinking June, but we shall see. This is the little dream big little boy ephemera and the frames and tags. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and get the girl version. Ooh, I would love to do that for some siblings, like for my sister, um, for a boy and a girl, uh, make albums. Yeah, beautiful. And then, let's see, the last ephemera pack that I got was for the girl, our baby girl collection. Yeah. 
the three uh, cardstock collections that I got were the baby girl, uh, Easter time, and the dream big little boy. The um, our little boy version of the girls was sold out, so that's what I got, and I'm going. I'm cool with that. All right, you guys, that completes my haul. I hope you enjoyed the overview, and uh, you stick around so you can see some of the uh, uh, projects that I do regarding these collections. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video. Thanks!